Some of those fans ran to Dallas, using the weekend to spotlight charity activities from Norman and Austin. A number of fraternity and sorority students from the University of Texas ran a relay to the Cotton Bowl from their campus to raise money for the Darrell Royal Workshop. OU students were sponsoring a similar foot race to raise money for the March of Dimes. Each of the two teams hailed contributions from passing motorists and in small towns along the way. Each team also relayed a football signed by the respective teams and coaches. Downtown Dallas began taking on the atmosphere of Galveston before a hurricane. Plate glass windows disappeared behind wooden shields or iron bars along Commerce. The annual Friday night bash has not been as violent as in the past. Last year, arrests mostly for liquor violations and disorderly conduct totaled 278, compared with 402 the year before. But police public information officer Bob Shaw says the law will be out in force. We don't see any lessening of the interest in the rally that, uh, that's always been there. Um, we hope that they will find just a lot of people uh, give them the old uh, hook em horn signs and boomer sooner and uh, that, sign, uh, that, that kind of thing. Um, what we'll be looking for uh, is to, uh, to keep down disorderly conduct, uh, youngsters drinking, uh, any drug violations, that sort of thing. But we're not out to suppress anybody's good time. Uh, we hope they'll come here with the attitude of having a good time and uh, that's what we hope they'll do. How do you go about handling this crowd? We try to uh, keep everybody moving. <laughs> we don't like to have people congregate in one place. Uh, there, uh, we find that it works a lot better if people, uh, we keep both people moving uh, one way in, in certain areas of the downtown area and keep that traffic moving. And uh, it's surprising that you'd find people uh, continuing to drive up and down the streets uh, hour after hour and, uh, and walk up and down the streets, but uh, it's always been done that way, and I guess we'll, uh, we'll continue to do it that way. And so the so-called Big Bash is scheduled to begin here at the corner of Commerce and Ackerd in only a few hours. And police are hopeful it won't make tomorrow's annual clash between the Sooners and the Longhorns anticlimactic. This is Mike Miller, Channel 8 News.